What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's quick video, I'm going to try to make this one a short one um, and just give you my freaking two cents, right? I'm going to kind of just give you my little my little experience and, and, and little two cents, and hopefully it adds value to you um, when it comes to social media marketing, um, building a business online, and, and, and really, really <clears throat> Facebook in this particular video. Um, if you've been following me for, for a while, you guys... Um, my name is David. I've been out here in San Diego um, building a, an online brand, a social media business, an agency, whatever the hell you want to call it, servicing clients, running Facebook ads. Been doing that since 2017 successfully. And um, again, if you've been following me on this channel, I talk a lot about it. Like I have a lot of videos pertaining to how I did it, um, my strategy and, 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 and just the the ups and downs of, of just building something online, right? Servicing others, servicing clients, and really trying to bring value. Um, I have a ton of videos where I go over my, my direct message strategy. So as I came into the scene and started running Facebook ads for businesses, I got to them, I prospected them, I scheduled appointments with them. Um, I started building a community and, and, and building, building a, a, a social media you know, um, um, connection around all of them through the direct message and all through Facebook. Like, and so I'm gonna kind of walk you through and answer this question. Sp uh, shout out to Spanish Corrente. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Shit, my Spanish ain't all that, but hopefully hopefully I, I, I said, that, said that somewhat, right? But I'm gonna answer a question here and again, kind of just sprinkle my experience on it, man. Because again, I talk about it a lot on this channel. So if you're into social media marketing, Facebook advertising, servicing clients, maybe you're a freelancer, maybe you're an aspiring agency owner and you wanna start you know, getting better at social media marketing or, or Facebook advertising or, or anything online. So you can either maybe build your business or you can help others build theirs. I'll kind of just, 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 you know, again, walk you through how I, how I done it. So if you're into that type of stuff, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. As you can see here, I love answering your guys' questions. It helps me really bring the value and, and keep this channel as relevant as possible to what you guys are, 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 are experiencing, right? Um, online trying to build something. So here's what it is. This is a video that, that, that I put out just a couple of days ago. Um, going over what not to do on social media, right? How not to promote your business, how not to hit people in the direct message, right? In the DM, right? So this, this reply is, is, is based off of that. Um, so Spanish Corrente, um, hopefully again, I'm saying that right. Ask right here. Hey, David, thank you for this video. Very helpful. Um, and real, do you use your personal Facebook profile to reach your prospects? Okay. So Again, I touched on that in this video, um, this one that, that that Spanish is referring to, but I'll, but I'll say it again. Um, yes, it was it was my personal profile. So what I did, you guys, in, in 2017, and I, and I tell this to my clients all the time, like this is something I'm, uh, it's, it's part of my, my presentation as I'm, as I'm talking to people. Um, it all started in, in, in 2016, right? In 2016, I leave mortgages. I was a licensed loan originator, a mortgage guy, a lender, a banker, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm the guy you come to to get you approved to go buy a house, right, in the U.S. Um, that was my business from 2010 to 2016. And so in that, in that six-year run and in that industry, you got the mortgage guy, which was me, and then you got the real estate agent, which is the person selling the house, right? Um, so in that six-year period, I had a ton of them come over to our bank, um, come over to you know to to my company, and 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 work with us to get their clients approved. These are real estate agents who had who have clients that want to purchase a house, right? So that client needs to come to a bank, preferably a mortgage bank, to get them approved for a loan to go buy the damn house, right? So, so in that six year period, I'm meeting a ton of real estate agents. I'm, I'm, I'm networking with a ton of real estate agents. And that's where the light, that's when the light bulb went on for me, because I started realizing because I had a marketing background, it wasn't just mortgages. Um, prior to that, I've been in marketing forever, online marketing and really trying to trying to master what it takes to capture a lead on the internet. I've been doing that since 1999. So I had all this mortgage marketing background before mortgages, right? So as I'm in mortgages, and as I'm networking with these realtors, I'm noticing that they all suck in marketing, I'm noticing that the ones that are actually advertising are still spending money offline, billboards, bus benches, direct mail, um, maybe even a TV commercial, expensive offline advertising is what most 
real estate agents in this case were doing, if at all. Um, and, and, and anyone who wasn't doing anything just wasn't doing anything. And I just knew that, they, that, that, that all of them, damn near 100% of them were not leveraging social media. I knew that the majority of them were not building an online brand. They didn't know about Facebook ads. And so I leave mortgages in 2016 to start helping real estate agents. And that's where it all, all happened. I started consulting real estate agents in late 2016 into 2017 and, um, and, and, and started getting really good at, at servicing them when it came to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. But again, in my videos or in my presentations, I'm always talking about how I did it and, 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 and when it started. What I did is I simply came over here to Facebook, okay, 20, 2016, 2016 into 2017. And when you look at, if you guys are on Facebook on the personal, you know, you have a personal Facebook. If you look at your friend count, I don't care how much it is, how many you have. It's only a handful of people that you actually know. Your brother, your sister, your cousin, your, your aunt, your freaking girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your friends from freaking school, your buddies that you drink with on the weekends, whatever. Out of your friend list, and, and the same thing, it's not just Facebook, it's LinkedIn, it's Instagram, it's Twitter. It's only a handful who you actually know, who you actually have a personal relationship with that you shook hands with, you freaking hugged, you kissed, you know them, right? It's only a handful. So as you scale this number up, you're not going to know anyone, right? So here's what happened in 2016, 2017. I only had a handful of people that were actually my friends, right? My family, my mom, my brother. So what I did is I literally removed all of them. 2016, 2017, I removed all of them, all of them, every single one of them, every single one of them, I removed off of this friend list and I added them to my Instagram. That's why if you go to my Instagram, I only have a couple hundred followers there, followers there because those are all my actual real friends. Like I'm not even building that brand over there, building it as a, as a brand over there. My Instagram account is simply pictures of my family and, and things like that. But the followers are all like people that I know that actually know me from back in the day, right? Because my whole strategy over here on the personal Facebook you get 5,000 friends. So my whole strategy was to simply start requesting those who I wanted to serve. So I didn't start running ads. I didn't cold call. I didn't freaking build up a call center and have 15 people cold calling for me. I didn't run Facebook ads. I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't reach out to my previous network of realtors because I did mortgages. So I knew a ton of real estate agents. I did not reach out to anyone in the past and say, Hey, you know, I'll do your marketing now. I didn't want to be that guy. So I wanted to start fresh. I wanted to, to really build a whole different new line of business, like a whole new book of business, a new list of prospects. And I chose Facebook. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I did. And so over here, I simply came over here and searched. You can come over here and search any, any field. If I go plumbing, I could search any field. And then what I want to do is I want to go over here to people. And I could simply come over here and I start, I could start requesting all of these freaking plumbing plumbing companies and they're and these are personal pages right so this personal page has to be connected to someone like maybe the owner of the company maybe 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 the wife's the own the wife of the owner whatever maybe maybe because it's not their assistant right it's not freaking just a random employee that works for sean welch this is a personal page this has to be his right so I typed in my keyword, I got a shitload of people in that industry, and I started requesting, requesting, requesting. That's how it started. And that's how I still build a huge part of my income through this alone. So the 5,000 friends, my whole goal was to fill up the list with nothing but my niche, nothing but my niche. If you're not part of my niche, go follow me on Instagram. If you're not part of my niche, go follow me on Twitter, right? Like whatever, like, like, I need the 5,000 spots. That's how I looked at this. And again, you can apply this to Instagram. You can apply this to Twitter. You can apply it to LinkedIn. Those are the four that I would focus on. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Like those are the top four that I would that I would focus on to apply this message but at this, or this strategy. But at the same time, you only need one. You don't need all, all platforms. Like just pick one. I just chose Facebook for whatever reason. So um, that's what I did. So back to the question, back to the question, um, Facebook profile to reach your prospects. That's how I did it. I started. I started requesting nothing but nothing but my niche, and this now five thousand. Every single one of them is in my niche, and it started in twenty seventeen. Now those aren't the same five thousand people, right? Some will unfriend me. I'll unfriend a few. But the thing is, is that no one knows each other. So as you take your friend count past the 
200 friends that you freaking know past your aunts and uncles and you scale that friend friend list up, you're not going to know any of them. So again, it's the same on every platform. So I just simply created a whole new freaking group of people that I don't know because my whole my whole strategy was to request them here, become friends with them here, and then start building that relationship with them here. Start liking all their stuff, start commenting on their stuff, start sharing their stuff, and and and, and really allow myself to to stick out, right? And that's that that's how I did it. That's what I did. That's what that's what I I I I've always done. And so again, I'll I'll come over here and I'll just get my name out. Like I'll start liking all their stuff. Um, and and that's, that's what creates that buzz, right? Because now my name is floating through their notifications and I'm going to keep doing that. And I don't do that all damn day. I'll just simply do this, you know, just as a quick little few minutes right here. But that's what I would do. Like, and that's how I still do it. Like, I'll just come down and just boom. Like now they saw my notification. Now they saw my name. I'll even heart it. That this is what I kind of went over um, in, in, in the, in the video that I'm, that I'm, that I'm, you know, replying on this video right here, how not to promote your business on social media. So it all started with a personal profile. Okay. Get up a personal profile, create a legit one. Don't put some random logo. Don't put some freaking random picture of, 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 of the back of your head, show your face. Like that's another thing, man, is that you don't want to build around even with Spanish Corrente, this logo, I wouldn't put it there. Look at the difference between this logo, the profile picture and Lynette. Look, dude, and the difference between, look, soft one, soft, soft one. This logo, Lynette, her, perf, her personal profile, this SC logo. That right there, you guys, that's a big deal. Like, that's a big deal. So a lot of, a lot of businesses that I speak to, they hide behind the image. They hide behind freaking a logo. They hide behind the brand name. Um, and they don't want to put themselves out there. That's one huge, huge, huge deal about this, you guys. Look, like the only reason why you guys are here, man, is because you see my damn face. Only reason, dude. You see my personality. You see my characteristics. You see my flaws. You see my freaking unshaved beard. You see my hair all freaking jacked up. Like that's the reason why you guys are here. If I was hiding behind a logo and you guys didn't see none of this, you guys, you guys. Now, there's many channels like that. Don't get me wrong, but you wouldn't be getting the same kind of value on, and it wouldn't feel like this. It wouldn't feel like a personal connection. That's the difference between what a face gives 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 your overall brand versus trying to hide behind a logo. When you're hiding behind a logo, it's going to make it very difficult and challenging and just take a little longer if you're actually trying to build something because no, it's hard to connect with something like that. I can't connect with the logo, but I can connect with Lynette's face right here, right? Different connection. We're human beings. We need to see someone personal, okay? So what I started doing is I started just keeping it personal. I'd comment, I'd like, I, I would share their stuff. And then, and then what I would start posting was not even business related stuff. Like I didn't start the only business stuff that I would ever, ever, ever do over here was share a YouTube video. That's the only thing I would ever do. And I rarely even do that. This entire time that I've been on Facebook, it was always pictures of me and my kids and my wife and my, and just, just my family of, of what I'm doing. That connection right there is different. Now, now everyone has a different strategy. There's people that are way, way successful than me that than me that, that don't even do it this way. But I'm just, I'm a consumer. So I just kind of break it down to the most common core where what do I relate to? Like I'll ask the questions to myself. What do I relate to? You know, what 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 catches my attention? You know. Social media is social media because of a of, of, of personal connection. That's why social media is so freaking powerful because we gravitate to people. People need people. Like we, 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 we feed off of that. We eat off of that. We freaking desire that. That's what makes social media so crazy is that it's, it's human connection with another human connection. So, so my whole thing was the fact that I looked at it from a consumer's perspective and I relate to more things like this, than if you were just pitching me shit all damn day. Like, so you got, you know, two, many different strategies, but let me just give you two examples. One person is keeping it personal. The other person is posting nothing but business related shit. And, and, and depending on the, 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 the content, depending on the topic. Yeah. We get value out of, out of, out of pages like that, out of, out of profiles like that. We do get value. I, I, I follow some stuff that I don't even know who the hell's behind it. Right. But they gotta be good. Like they gotta be very, very good for me to even, for me, for me to even give it attention. Right. It got, it has to be super on point. Um, but, but, but 
if it's not super on point and there's no person there, then what am I really connecting with? I could be interested in the topic, but I'm only going to last so long because there's no human connection. There's no, there's no social proof. There's no, there's no you, right? So, so my whole thing over here was to simply get people to fall in love with me. Like that's where it all started. Now that this is, this was just my strategy. All I'm doing is simply answering this question and giving you my two cents. My whole experience was the fact that I started getting hundreds and hundreds of customers of clients because it started here on the personal page. I kept it real on the personal page and, 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 and that's what I truly believe was my, uh, uh, um, 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 strong point. That's what I truly believe was the icing on the cake was, was, was the actual, you know, freaking, um, 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 just ninja hack where I didn't want to pitch. I didn't want to talk business. I didn't want to get you to register for a webinar. I wanted you to fall in love with me. I wanted you to, to start liking me. I wanted you to start getting emotional when you see a picture of my kid. I wanted you to start looking at that pay, at that picture and, and, and start commenting. 40 people liked it, right? Sweet baby. Because if I can get them struck, if I can get them stuck on, on me personally, then when I hit them up regarding business, they're more likely to give me their time. Because I'm not coming off at that point, I'm not coming off as this crazy salesperson or this crazy business person because I've been following, I've been, I've been posting and getting you to fall in love with me first, right? Keeping it personal, keeping it real, keeping it authentic. And then when I hit you in the DM, then that's about business, right? But again, when that person gets it, they're like, damn, okay, there's that cool guy with the kid. There's that cool guy that likes to chill with his, you know, chill with his chick and, and go to the beach with his daughter right? That's what they're thinking. And that's the reality. That's, that, that's what it is. So I kind of went the back door approach, man. I kind of went the back door approach and the indirect approach on prospecting. That's what it was. So if it's all about personal brand, there's many ways to skin a cat. You can build the damn thing however the hell you want, you know, but I truly believe the easiest thing to do is to build it around you and build it around the realness of you, the authenticity of you. Don't sugarcoat shit. You are you. Like there's only one you. People are going to gravitate to you. Is the whole market going to love you? No. Do you need the whole market to love you? Hell no, right? So it's like, that's why even on my small channel right here, I'm, I'm always giving freaking praise and thanks and, 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 and gratitude and appreciation to my few thousand subscribers. Because that, first of all, is building me a brand. It's getting me clients up the yin yang. And I'm now building this income through YouTube, through the AdSense, right? Now YouTube's sending me a check every, every month because of all these ads that are running on this video. So the support that I get from a handful of people, it's like, dude, I freaking appreciate that. So shout out to every single subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, man. Smash the bell for notifications. All I do on this channel is just drop the realness of what I'm doing. Day in the life of me building a business online, on social media, running Facebook ads for either my business or for other businesses, and, and, and just trying to keep it real and document what I'm doing. So I truly believe that it was the indirect approach that, that, that I share and that I showed on this personal profile that allowed me to successfully direct message and get that person to have their guards down right away and take my call because they know that there's nothing to, I'm not, look, like I'm not, there's no threat, right? There's no threat. There, there, there's no logo that's hitting them up. Look, look, dude, look, all ages welcome, right? This is when I had my little baby, like his little baby bottle. Like, dude, like this is just keeping it real. People like that shit, right? They, they eat it all up, endless drinks, right? So it's like their guards are down by the time I hit them in the, in the DM. And, and I truly believe that was a huge, huge part of it, man. A huge, a huge part of my success of, of being able to get so many appointments. I, I literally get appointments on demand. I can direct message right now and have four appointments lined up for tomorrow. Like it's that crazy. That's why I haven't had to run Facebook ads for myself to get clients because I got so good at the direct message and it was free. Only thing that it took was my damn time, which could be time consuming, but if you can allocate your time in a, in a, in a timely manner and, and not overkill it or spend too much time and just, just get it down to a science. I literally put in an hour a day of prospecting. I'll do an hour. I'll do an hour to two hours of direct messaging to schedule appointments. And, and that alone has me booked. Right. So all these calls that you're hearing, dude, all these videos that I have on YouTube of my presentation and I'm on the phone with a or I'm on a Zoom call with a client. Right. Going over Facebook ads, training, whatever. 
99% of that dude, 99% was from a, from a client that came through the direct message. 99%. That's still my business model till this day. Now, where I'm at right now, 2021, I'm taking all my knowledge, recording videos on it, packaging it up in a digital course. And that's what I'm getting ready to scale. That's what I'm getting ready to run Facebook ads on is my actual digital course um, of, of all this shit, right? So um, um, that's where I'm at today. So this whole time, man, I've been direct messaging. I've been getting clients on Zoom. Um, and I've been using my personal profile to make it happen. And this is the content that I truly believe made it happen is the real me, the real me, the real me, right? So Back over here, hopefully that answered that question. Or is it better to have a business one? Okay, so the business page, let me make this part really, really clear. The business page, it's only, only necessary, only necessary. And let me let me really, really stress this, man. The business page, and this is for all of you guys. The business page, let's go to my business page real quick. Um, the business page, one thousand percent okay one thousand percent this business page it is only 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 important if you're running facebook or instagram ads that's it that's it if you are not running facebook ads or instagram ads the hell with this page you don't need it you don't need it you don't need it okay Keep everything on your personal. Go build that of 5,000 friends and get every single friend in your niche and build a relationship there. Um, if you're going to run Facebook ads, that's what the business page is for. Okay. So, so to answer your question over here, no, again, you only need the business one if you're running ads, right? Which, which I highly recommend you do. Like you need to be learning Facebook ads. So Spanish Corrente, if you don't know space, Facebook ads, freaking hit me up. Let me teach you. Like you need to know how to run Facebook ads for sure, no matter what. But Again, if, if, if you don't plan to or if you don't think you need to for whatever reason, okay, whatever. Business page ain't even, ain't even necessary, you know? So, um, and the reason for it is because of the reach. When you post organically, Facebook only shows it to 1% of your likes. And if these likes are at 210 because you've been clicking invite and trying to get all these friends over here on the personal page to like your business page, then that right there is why you only have 210 because you're clicking invite. Um, and if all these friends over here are not in your niche, if they're not in your niche, then your 210 likes are a bunch of random ass people. So if you have a business page and you're sitting at 109 likes and those are all from you clicking invite to all your random ass friends on your personal Facebook page, that's a waste of time. And that's why there's not much engagement because as you post your business related stuff, the 109 friends aren't even in that niche. So it doesn't, it doesn't pertain to them. It's not relevant to them. That post that's reason number one, if you're clicking invite, chances are your 109 likes are from random people and, and, and your, 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 your business over here doesn't apply to them. That that's reason number one. Reason number two is as you post organically, Facebook only shows your posts to 1% of your like count. So it's like, dude, okay, so I have 110 likes. Facebook's showing it to 1%. I'm dead, right? So it's like, dude, you can't build a business that way. You can't get exposure that way. You can't make it happen that way at all. That's organic posting. So if that's what you're doing, look at all your posts. Is it getting much engagement? Look at your likes. What do you got? 310? It's like, dude, like you're not going to get any momentum that way at all. So that's why what I do is I literally teach Facebook advertising. I have coaching programs and, and I take people through A to Z on how to learn how to run Facebook ads because that's what this page is for, man. So you're not going to connect and direct message people from this page. You're going to just all keep it on the personal page and build up relationships, man. Build a, build a brand, build up a relationship and, and get these people to be your friend first. That's what I highly recommend. So um, I would like to know what kind of stuff you post on your profile to attract customers. That is what I kind of explained in the beginning is that that's the shit. You see it, man. You see it. That's the stuff I post. So again, when I hit you in the direct message, your guards are down. Um, you know, I'm not aggressive. You know um, um, that I'm not a bad guy. You know that I'm not some creep. You know that I'm not some scam. You know that I'm not some freaking offshore logo to a profile picture, right? Like, you know that I'm real. 
And so again, I just truly believe that's what got me a ton of appointments and what continues to get me a ton of appointments is the realness of me. This is the shit I post. And then I end up hitting you in the direct message. And before you know it, I'm on a Zoom call with you taking your credit card. That's how I did it. That's how I did it. Okay, so um, it may be an idea for a new video. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Spanish Corrente, man. That's If it wasn't for your freaking questions here, yeah, we wouldn't have this new video today. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for asking the questions. Um, just to recap, this is just what I did, right? You guys, now, now, now would, I do that, would I do that again? Let, let, let's end it here. Would I do that again? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Because direct messaging is time consuming, right? I'm the type of person where I want to automate everything. I want to leverage. I want to automate. I don't want to do shit. Um, that's why I love YouTube because I make the video, put it up, it gets played, and, and it could get played for years to come, and now YouTube's paying me money. I like that shit. I like passive income. I don't want to do shit to try to make a dollar. I want passive income. I want to be able to do something once and get paid for it over and over and over. Reoccurring residual income. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what I'm into, right? So today... Would I do all that again? Probably not. Today, I'd probably get a case study of a client and then run Facebook ads to get my points that way. And I could still do that right now. But again, that's not really my model anymore. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sell my course now, right? I'm trying to automate that. So run Facebook ads while I'm sleeping, getting people to buy my course while I'm taking a shit and, and, and get people learning from my course while I'm on freaking some island butt naked with my wife, right? Keeping it real. So automation, leveraging the internet, 24-7 income. That's what I want to be doing. So, so everything I just went over, the direct message, the 5,000 friends, all that was manual effort, manual labor, me putting in the time. But that's where I started. I didn't have a dime to my name. I'm trying to start something for the first time, 2016, 2017. And, and, and so I'm just like trying to get in where I fit in. And, 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 and shout out to Gary V because as I started messaging people in the direct message in 2016, 2017, not long after that, call it 2017, in 2017, not long after I started, you know, requesting all these people, I ended up seeing a video on Gary V confirming it. Gary V ended up having a video talking about how powerful the direct message was and how much business is in the direct message. And when I saw that in 2017, I'm like, holy shit, I'm onto something big here. And from that point on, the rest is history. That was 2017. I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of clients since then off from that one strategy, direct message, finding everybody, finding every, finding everyone within that niche on Facebook. Again, you can do it on Instagram. You can do it on LinkedIn. You can do it on Twitter. Um, and, and if you didn't watch the vi this video that we're referring to that I'm answering right here, watch it. Okay. I'm going to link it right below and I'll also tie it to the end of this video. So if you stay to the end, you'll see this one that, that Spanish Corrente is, is, is questioning on commenting on, you'll see that video right below. So watch that one if you didn't, because in that video, I'm going over, you know, the approach and what not to do. Like, don't come off as a freaking salesman. Don't come off as a freaking, as someone that's just trying to close someone. Come off genuine, you know, start by being their friend first. Compliment, thank them, you know, give them something of value for free, right? So I'm, I'm covering some things in that video um, that you that you may want to watch if, if you didn't already. So hopefully that made sense, you guys. Um, Again, many, many ways to skin a cat. This is just how I did it. You guys can choose, you know, other other strategies and, and not put your face on anything. You know, you could totally do that. It just it just comes down to what feels right for you and 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 how you're trying to build your business, man. So thank you so much for the questions, you guys. Um, I'm gonna continue to bring value on this channel. So if you're new to online marketing, if you're new to social media marketing, Facebook advertising, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego doing all the above every day, all day in the trenches documenting what I'm doing and turning that into a YouTube video for you guys. All right. So hopefully you got value. You guys, again, drop me a comment if you did, and I'll see you on the next video over and out.